Hello, my beautiful soul family. Welcome, light workers and star seeds. Thank you guys for joining me here on my channel, The Spiritual Alchemist, where I offer collective readings for you guys as well as short oracle messages every day. So, we have a powerful super moon in Aquarius today, you guys. So, happy full moon blessings to all of you beautiful ones. I hope you're having an amazing, blessed day, you guys. This is a time of severing ties to the past, closing out old karmic chapters in our lives, and releasing the past once and for all. We're going through a major purging on our ascension journey, you guys. So you have to release anything that is no longer in alignment with who you are, this new higher version that you're becoming, because as we are coming into a higher vibrational energetic frequency, we are shifting timelines. So we're going through a change in consciousness. And as you guys are elevating and growing and evolving on your spiritual journey, these things from the past are no longer in alignment with this new version that you are. So now we're stepping into a higher timeline, you guys. We're coming into a beautiful frequency, and this is gonna be an amazing oracle reading for you guys for the special blue moon in Aquarius. So let's, let's go ahead and jump into this reading, you guys. First, if you're new here, you're just joining me, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Also click the notifications bell so you can be notified for all of my new upcoming episodes on my channel. I thank you guys so much for being here and sending me so much love and support, you guys. Also feel free to drop a comment below if these Oracle messages resonate for you, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love during this time. I know there's so much happening energetically, but we will get through this together. Okay, you guys. So we're going to start with my Magical Dimension Oracle deck. The first message that is coming out for you guys and the collective for today, August 19th, is the number 21, Higher Perspective. So this is about you guys looking at the bigger picture in your life, okay? Looking at things from a higher perspective more celestial perspective, seeing things for what they actually are. A lot of truths are being revealed to us, you guys, during this time. We need to listen and follow our intuition and be guided by spirit in this new direction that we're coming into, okay? So this is representing the number three in numerology. If you add two plus one together, it equals three. A lot of you guys could be seeing that powerful manifestation number three, 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 everywhere you go. This is a very powerful energy of the cosmos, this awakening that we're going through um, on a planetary scale, okay? So everybody's awakening in some way. Many people are on a very powerful ascension journey and are going through a second awakening or a third awakening right now. This is also an energy of unity coming into collaboration with others, humanitarianism, sharing your gifts and abilities with the world. It's also saying do not limit your thinking right now. Look at things from a higher, more spiritual perspective, okay? See the bigger picture of what it is that you want and how you can take action in this new direction or new pathway, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in, you guys. Let me grab my Magical Dimension Oracle card book. Let me see. I left it over here. Okay, grab all my little oracle books for you guys so you can see the meaning of each card and what it represents. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so this higher perspective is really about thinking outside of the box, right? That's what Aquarian energy is all about, thinking outside of the box, looking at things from all perspectives, seeing the bigger picture, not just the details, okay? And focusing on this new direction that you want to take in your life. This also represents your higher purpose as you're going through this awakening process. So higher perspective, the oracle interpretation for you guys says, higher perspective resonates to peace and serenity and the soul's connection to the cosmos. It purifies and clears confusion about the soul's place in the universe and assists the soul with feeling allied with a greater purpose and a higher power. It helps with delivering fresh vantage points into challenging circumstances and reminds all beings to perceive situations from a higher, more celestial perspective. Yes, so the cosmos is asking you guys to see your situation you're in from a higher perspective. So if you guys are dealing with 
a job, a work situation, um, a career opportunity. There's a need to solve your problem, not just from one point of view, but ask the universe for assistance and bringing you a new outlook on the situation. There's something that you need to look at in your life differently and see the bigger picture. Spirit is also saying with your dreams, expand your ideas into bigger and brighter ventures. Think big. You are awakening and new ideas will be coming forth that are of a higher, cleaner vibration. This is a time of full expansion and attracting very high frequencies. Yes, Aquarius energy, you guys, is like lightning, okay? Uranus energy is uh, the awakening planet. It's the great awakener. It's the great teacher, okay? It represents wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment. So a lot of you guys are getting a big upgrade in your life. You're leveling up spiritually and you're attracting very high frequencies in your life. So it depends on what you're focused on. If you guys are focused on, you know, starting your own business, for example, this is a time to look at the bigger picture. You can always work out the details later, but look at the bigger picture of what it is that you desire, what it is you want to create, and how to manifest this into your life by taking small baby steps towards your goals, okay? So you guys are needing to see the bigger picture of whatever is happening currently in your life at this time. This could even be with a relationship, a friend, a situation in your life. If it's not serving your highest good and it's not helping you to grow and evolve spiritually, this is something you need to release and let go of. Now, if it is something that is giving you an opportunity in your life, spirit is saying there's a big yes, okay? You need to say yes to this job, this new career opportunity. If you're having ideas about starting your own business or doing something new, this is a time of creation, you guys, as you're going through your awakening, okay? So very powerful energy here. Now, after higher perspective, we also have the energy of the solar plexus chakra, you guys. So this is representing the solar portal, the number 36. So that would be the number nine in numerology. Many of you guys could be experiencing the angel number 999 everywhere you go, which represents reaching a point of almost completion, okay? You're completing karmic cycles in your life. You're taking ownership of your power. You guys are taking back control of your life, okay? That's what I'm seeing with the solar portal. So this is an energy of being centered within yourself, balancing power, and also on the low side manipulation. I'm picking up that many of you guys um, could have been dealing with a person, a job, uh, a relationship, some kind of situation where you felt like you were being manipulated, deceived, lied to, maybe someone betrayed your trust. So there is a need to take back your power and not feel powerless or stuck, whether this is a job, a relationship, or with a family member or friend, okay, whatever the, however that resonates for you, the solar plexus coming out for you guys is really all about taking ownership of your energy, taking back power and control in your life, and steering events where you want them to go, okay? So this is about being the captain of your own ship and steering the ship exactly where it is you want to go, okay? You guys have complete control and power over your own life, don't ever allow anyone to come into your life and try to knock you over, try to take your power, try to manipulate you or deceive you. That is when you need to walk away from these people and disconnect from that energy, okay? So let's read the solar plexus for you guys and we'll see what this is about. And I think this energy actually came out yesterday. I believe this card came out in the collective yesterday as well, you guys, because the solar plexus is receiving upgrades right now. We're being upgraded. And this, this time of year is really with Leo season and the Aquarian full moon. This is all about taking back our power, being in our sovereignty, claiming back our freedom, okay? So it's a very powerful energy right now that we're experiencing. So the solar portal is saying for you guys, Really getting to know yourself at the deepest of levels and learning about personal power will take you on a journey of the self. Once dialed into the soul, intuition and gut level feelings become a daily routine, thus making decisions easier and more fluid. Here at the center of the chi, true soul power is as brilliant as the sun. Yeah, it looks like the sun energy, you guys. So you're going to be lighting up like never before. You're going to be showing the world 
exactly what you're all about. You're gonna be sharing your gifts, your knowledge, your abilities with the world. A lot of you guys, I'm hearing you're gonna step into a leadership position at your job, or you're entering into a new business opportunity, a business partnership, maybe even your own business, and see that eagle in the middle. You guys are flying high, so this is absolutely amazing. So with the solar plexus, remember, Spirit is saying, are you trusting your gut feelings? Your intuition will guide you with making wise decisions if you listen. If you make choices based on the external world, your power will wane. So become centered and balanced from your core. You need to radiate confidence in your situation. Don't be so easily swayed or knocked over and be very conscious of others' intentions at this time. It's time to trust that gut feeling, yes. So if you guys feel like someone is trying to sway you with their opinion of how they think of you or they're judging you in a certain way or they make you feel powerless and stuck or they're manipulating you, whatever that means for you guys, this is an energy you need to disconnect from and take your power back, okay? So don't be so easily swayed by other people's intentions. Make sure to trust your gut feeling and your intuition. And when you know yourself at the deepest level, you guys, you won't allow anyone to take your power from you. You won't even deal with the same type of situations anymore in your life that you dealt with before where you felt like someone was you devaluing you or manipulating you or or swaying you into believing something you know isn't true for yourself, okay? So that is really powerful. So trust your gut feeling spirit is saying with the solar plexus. Now, after the solar plexus energy, we also have the high priestess, which represents the moon. This represents heightened sensitivity during this full moon. We have the full moon here on the image in the background with the high priestess, the tiger, there's fairies and elementals. It's very magical. So this is an energy of majestic eminence, the high priestess. This represents the moon, our intuition, our gut feelings, our emotions, our psychic abilities and gifts, okay? So this is coming after that solar plexus chakra of taking back your power, not feeling powerless and stuck, um, taking charge of your destiny and your life, okay? So this high priestess energy is about your self-worth and value, connecting more with your divine feminine energy, and also trusting your intuition. So let's go ahead and read, you guys, the high priestess, and we're gonna see what this beautiful energy is all about. This also represents the number nine in numerology. When you add two plus seven, it equals nine. So 999 seems to be a very powerful number showing up for you guys in the collective. Okay, so Majestic Eminence is saying for you guys in the collective, this is resonating to the sacred and divine actions of the true inner priestess. The sublime, generous, and blessed divine feminine is to be honored and acknowledged as it is this exalted force that fosters balance from excess masculine energy. This noble ray embodies the highest frequencies of grace, patience, and love, yet empowers the soul with dignity and worth. Through the inward journey of the priestess, the voyage cherishes beauty within one's own soul, and all other souls are inspired to do the same. Yeah, so I'm hearing a message for you guys from spirit that it's important to be true to yourself and honor your worth and your value. And when you show up in the world like this, you're actually inspiring people to do the exact same thing. You're inspiring people to be their true authentic self and to also be in their power and know their self-worth and value, okay? So spirit is saying regardless if you're in a male or female body, this message suggests the need to balance the divine feminine aspects within yourself and honor your worth. Allow your wisdom and power to be expressed by example. Bask in your own sacredness with gratitude and love. Be confident with your choices and yet receptive to all of life. Yeah, the high priestess is receptive to everything and everyone around her, okay? You don't have to do anything, I'm hearing spirits say. Maybe some of you guys are workaholics or you're doing everything in your power to control a situation or make sure it's a positive outcome. Spirit is with you and guiding you, you guys. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to follow your intuition and listen to what spirit is guiding you to do. 
under this blue moon, this full moon in Aquarius, okay? So very powerful time, you guys, to, to balance your divine feminine energy within yourself, honor your self-worth and value, and allow the wisdom and knowledge that you've gained in previous cycles to help you be confident in your choices and move forward in this new direction. So that is very, very powerful energy right there, you guys, with the sun and the moon, with the high priestess, the beautiful energy of an even balance between the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy. A lot of you guys are coming into alignment within both energies within yourself, and you're getting to know yourself at a deeper soul level as you make these new wise decisions, okay? So now moving into my animal spirit wild unknown deck, we have the eagle that came out for you guys for this powerful super moon in Aquarius. So let's go ahead and read the air element, the eagle, and we'll see what this energy is about for you guys the eagle is like the most powerful bird in the sky you guys so i love that this message is coming out for you and the eagle does to me represent aquarius energy it's about freedom freedom from pain and suffering freedom from past incarnations it's about rising above obstacles and challenges and claiming your destiny so this is a very beautiful energy for you guys so spirit is saying with the eagle all pervading power, truth seeker transforms karma. Yes, beautiful. So the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. Yes, you guys are very powerful. You're very strong. You're evolving at a very powerful rate right now. You guys are literally shifting timelines. You're coming into a higher consciousness and you're you're taking you know you're taking this like it's like the sun energy we have the sun here and the sun here so you guys are literally shining your beautiful bright light in the world like the powerful energy of the sun okay so that solar plexus energy with the eagle is really about taking ownership of your personal power being in your sovereignty and freeing yourself from anything that is holding you back okay very beautiful you guys and to bring this energy into balance with the eagle it's saying to step into the unknown so this is a time to take action in a new direction step outside of your comfort zone step into unknown uh territory something new this could be starting a new job a new career a new business um anything however that resonates for you guys this is about taking your power back and you guys are going through a major, major transformation in your life. And the eagle will push you to be your best and brightest self and stop at nothing to see you shine. So this is what's happening, you guys, as you're moving into this new chapter of your life and you're going through this major transformation, it's time for you to be your best and brightest version of yourself. So that is a beautiful energy of taking charge of your destiny taking back control of your life, being in your power, and really being your best self, okay? And then the last two that came out for you guys is coming from my Angel Answer Oracle deck. We have Perfect Timing that came out for you guys. And there's one more, oop, there's one more underneath it, you guys, that I'll read to you in just a moment. This perfect timing is letting you know that right now is the perfect time to start something new, okay? Whatever it is you're focused on right now, it could be a new job that you want to take, um, looking for something new, a new hobby, a new creative endeavor, a new relationship, new connections, Okay, so let's go ahead and read perfect timing for you guys. I love this card. And we see like the, the hourglass here. So right now is the best time to do something new. We see the rainbow coming out of it, which means your hopes and dreams are coming true. Your wishes may be granted at this time as well. So perfect timing. Let's see what that one says. Okay, so this is the perfect timing for the situation you've asked about. Move forward with confidence. Don't delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is presently open for you. Conditions are ripe. Even if you don't feel prepared, rest assured that you are. Yeah, so if you guys are asking, like, am I really ready to take on 
a new job, a new career? Am I ready for a new relationship, new friends? Whatever this is for you guys, Spirit is saying, yes, it is the right timing for this, okay? It's ready to start. It's ready. It's <laughs> How am I trying to say this, you guys? It's time for you to start over at a clean slate in your life is what I'm hearing Spirit say. Right now is the best time for you to begin a new job, travel, do something that you've always wanted to do, okay? And then after perfect timing... We have don't stop. Yeah, I feel like this has to do with work and career and making your dreams a reality. Spirit is saying, you guys, if you're feeling, you know, exhausted, you're feeling down and out, you're doubting your situation, you're doubting yourself, don't stop. Keep moving forward, okay? So let's go ahead and read the last message, don't stop, and we'll see what this says. Okay, so with this full moon in Aquarius, you guys, don't stop. Keep working towards your goals. Keep working towards what it is that you want to do, taking action, okay? This is not the time to give up. Continue to move in the direction of your hopes, dreams, or plans. You are on the right path, and you should see progress as long as you stay the course. It's very important that you stand your ground and believe in yourself. Don't let others intimidate you into quitting just because they don't have your vision doesn't mean you shouldn't follow your heart. Yes. So if you guys are following your heart and you're going after a dream that you have, don't let anybody make you hesitate or hold you back. Many people in this life, you guys, in this 3D illusion matrix that we live in, many people are out for their own good. They could be trying to manipulate you in some way into believing you're not the right one for the position or this isn't something you're meant to do. Make sure you guys are believing in your dream don't stop don't ever give up keep moving forward with great courage and determination because things are going to work out in your favor it's going to be very successful you just need to stay on the right course okay so something does feel like a dream to you it's something you've always wanted to do make sure you keep doing it don't allow others around you to 